Hello and welcome to this Selenium recipe. In previous videos, we have a look on how to work with different web elements and Selenium. We even saw what Selenium already has for us when we want to check states of an element. Is it enabled? Is it disabled? Is it selected? But we can also check or create our own checks in order to help our Selenium test or to improve our Selenium test. So let's say we are on a page and even though we are pretty sure that we have found the element that everything is correct, we still would like to have something like um, is element there, is element present, check, something that Selenium doesn't really offer us out of the box. So in this video we're going to create such a function and I'm going to show you how you can use it. It's just one example. You can, of course, then choose to use it in all our tests or just from time to time. So let's get started. So we have a look here at the element and we're going to, on purpose, um, have a bad selector. So let's go to IntelliJ. I already created the test for us and navigates to this form. And let's do this here. Um, we're going to identify the element and then, well, we just want to send keys to the element. Good, well, element identification is the same. So we go to web element and let's say element to be found. Find element by ID. And then the correct ID would be this first name. Let's put first name too. Let's just add here. This is a comment. Correct ID is first name too. And then we want to send keys. Say, okay, test. So if we run this, we will get an error. I hope we get an error because if this works, then Selenium has some huge issues. And we have an error. And the error says, unable to locate element. No such element exception. OK, so how can we handle this? Well, as I said, um, we want to create our own method our own Java method, which checks, is the element there? Is the element present? And since we're going to go do um, a check that is, says is there, is not there, we're going to make a function that returns a Boolean value. So let's just write our function. Private is element present. And it's just a boilerplate. And well, actually, going to be Boolean because we're going to have it return a value. And let's say for default is well, let's say default is true. And I mean this is the let's say the, the template here. Um, but we want this to actually um, be used in. Um, well, when when you when you find the element, so when you try to find the element, we want also uh, to be able to use it like like this. So to have a let's put a by here and by by like you have there, and then let's just start writing the the code. So we want to do driver find element by um, by the by, actually, and basically this by is going to be what we have here. So it's going to look something like this. And let's just make it as, uh, um, so I was, say, I was trying to say, let's just make it as an if, but the if checks for, uh, a true or false value. 
and what we will need to do is actually to do a try catch so we're basically going to tell selenium try to do this and if it's working return true otherwise return false and in the false we're going to also try to catch the um, element exception okay so let's uh, uh, do a little bit of formatting here so we put return to actually here and the try see it's missing a catch so the thing is what does this mean it says try to do this however I'm expecting that we get an error and we saw it in case we have uh, a locator that is invalid or in case the uh, based on our locator selenium cannot find the element it's going to throw an error and what error was that actually it was an exception uh, put here return false so it was a no element no such element exception and so let's go through the code again so we, we made a function which will check um, if the element is there. In case it finds the element, it's true. If it doesn't find the element, it will catch the exception and it will return false. So basically, let's just try this one here to, um, well, we can merge these two here. And we can basically say if, oh, sorry, make an if, and we say is element present, and here we gave it the uh, by id first name too, and if it is present. We're, um, we're just going to send the keys. However, for the code to work correctly, we would need to take the, or to be concise, we would need to put the location here. Because what we're doing is, we're first checking if the element is actually present. And if it's present, we're going to identify the element and we're going to send the keys. If we would have left the identification outside of the if, if block, we would have received an error that the element could not be found because this code here actually tries to find the element and in case you cannot find it, we will get the no element exception. So when we run this, we should actually um, run without any issues and have no element exception shown uh, but we also will not see any keys so let's run it and afterwards uh, if all goes well we'll debug it to show you that it's actually that nothing happens and to prove to you that it's basically uh, not going into this part i'm going to add an else here and oops. in the else, I'm going to put system out print the element is not there, so we do not send any text. Let's see in the console. Oh, the debugging. <sighs> it's always nice.
the element is not there and we're not perfect. And if we would change now the ID, have it correct, we will see that we're actually sending the keys and we won't see that message in the console. And let's see, do we have it? Do we have it? No, we don't. Perfect. So there you have it. You can use it without any issues. I hope it's uh, useful for you. I hope you like this, Chrome, this um, recipe. Have a look at the other videos. Stay tuned for other videos. Click the subscribe button and I'll definitely see you in the next one.